This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, the cops in Houston claim that they have a lot of tips coming in on Takeoff's death and that they uh, will be prosecuting or, you know, arresting and prosecuting soon. I think that they're scared. I think that certain people involved got them shook and that they won't. Because, like, think about it. It's been weeks now, three weeks since this happened. Nothing. And you've had cameras, you've had different angles, you've had people come forward. You know who did it. And you still won't, pro you won't arrest, make arrests. But the uh, investigation is active and I don't want to discuss any details on it, but I can tell you uh, we will find this person uh, and, and we will identify the person, our person's responsible for takeoff's death. And then... Yeah, okay, buddy. You know, it's like really just get to work you know it's like by any means find find takeoffs killer because this is disgusting you know we all know we all know who did it you know we all know we all know who's responsible come on all right Kanye West was wilding out and allegedly he was like showing uh Kim's nudes at one person he says told an Adidas person that like hey uh I want a shoe that I want to put my private parts in uh designed me a shoe like that uh they said it was very uh they said it was very unprofessional the the staff said like you know my wife just sent me this and they'd show them like revealing pictures and stuff like that it's like sounds like a cool boss to me <laughs> to be honest with you uh, and then she says, uh, some staffers signed an open higher-ups at Adidas titled The Truth About Yeezy, a call to action for Adidas leadership, uh, turning a blind eye to adherent behavior. Uh, okay, adherent behavior. They already knew. Come on. Kanye showed you who he is. You knew you were dealing with a creative genius. <laughs> Come on. Birdman puts everybody in their place. He says, I started this ball and stuff. I laid the blueprint down. The stunt and ball and lifestyle, that's all us. And you guys are all copying it. You should bow down and kiss the ring. He ain't lying. We all them I showed how to beat them I really created this whole lifestyle that stunting, balling, nigga. I created this shit, nigga. I taught you just how to do this shit. All facts. I gave you niggas this game, nigga. I'm stunner for real, nigga. Number one stunner, ain't no other. Nigga. I created this shit. I showed you niggas how to ball and how to play beat fancy. I ain't never speak about killing no niggas in my raps because I knew that shit could be real. I'm a stunner. I'm a baller. And I'll uh -huh. play them games. You play with me, bitch, we're going to do uh -huh. it one way, no other kind of way. I ain't never Bye, been no flaw lose. type nigga about this lifestyle, boy. And I don't speak on it neither, though. You heard me? Shout out to that bitch, Lack. <laughs> My blood. Price. Boy, real gangsters. You heard me? Daryl. We all. Full of Gucci's. Because oh. I'm still flying. Come on, man. You ain't seen guys wearing three, four watches on their wrists until Birdman, okay? You ain't seen them, like, pull out all the Lambos and do donuts in them until Birdman, okay? You ain't seen the Gucci interiors, the Louis Vuitton interior. Come on, man. Put some respect on his name. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.